Uh, I broke my camera. What the heck, man? Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video in the museum. We are back in the museum because that's the only time I remember to do YouTube stuff is when I'm working at the museum, just editing videos, catching y'all up on the latest and what's been going on fishing wise and of course the elephant in the room running wise so a couple of videos back i just i just now uploaded one about car about a car fishing trip but the video before that explained that the, the my first collegiate race and how you know i have plantar fasciitis that i dropped out and then on October 9th, which was this past Saturday, it's Wednesday right now, I was gonna go back to the exact same course and not only finish the race, I was gonna do so well, but like mainly finish the race. So now that has passed, and for those of y'all who don't follow me on Strava, please do go follow me on Strava, you can get more details there. But of course, y'all want to see footage from the race this time and we got it for you because there is a race to get footage of, because I did not drop out. So that's the good news. Let's roll that real quick. Let's just play one. Just it, it's a bunch of little clips. Let's just mesh them all together and just go in three, two, one. Let's go, Jake. Run your race, bud. Good job, good job, good job. Looking good, Hey, Jake. there you Looking go, Jake. Find your pace, bud. Good job, good job, good job. Hey, here we go, Jake. Hey, run strong. Looking good, bud. Good job. Hey, you got a pack behind you gunning for you, bud. Run smart. You look good. Good job. Come on, Jake. Finish. There you go. Good job. So as y'all can probably tell, I uh, finished not where I wanted to be, especially in the race of that Calvary. It was all the two schools like from here. I mean, y'all saw at the start, there were people jogging out, mainly from Oklahoma Panhandle, but we're, we're going to disregard that. Oh, jeez. You know, after that race, I was kind of just trying to stay in shape, you know, test you know test the foot out make sure not to push anything too hard but you know do some workouts with Isaac here and there and then of course just maintaining fitness you know I don't want to go through all the pre-race workouts and training plans and this stuff because I don't want to make this a long boring video like it was last time because no one wants to see that so starting at the start there is no one there hardly it's all D2 schools but they're all small D2 schools and there's very little of them so you got people jogging at the start and then you got the very little rest of the field just going out and most of that race you saw in the second clip there i was third and i maintained the third position through the first 5k so 5k out at 8k being the third you think that you know you would place pretty good right um <laughs> i mean you hear you hear mom saying you hear my mom saying that the pack is working on you Hey, you got a pack behind you gunning for you, bud. Run smart. And, you know, you see me kind of flopping around. That usually means we're getting tired a bit. Uh, need to work on that. Need to get strong arms and not rinky-dinky, floopy-floppy stuff, you know? So, yeah, you could tell I was getting caught by the pack. And I got caught by 10 people. Finishing 13th out of, I thought there were a lot less runners in the race. There were 52 people in that race. And I, fish, I finished 13th as a completely unattached runner. There was one other unattached runner in that race, but he was unattached. He was a red shirt for West, you know, WT West Texas A&M, who would have easily won this meet, but they weren't there. Thank goodness, and he beat me. So, in trainers, and I, that's another thing I got to mention too. Um, I wore trail shoes because solved the whole plantar fasciitis issue. I had to get some shoes with some some cushion in it, but you know, they they were kind of light, but you know, trail shoes in general are heavy. So I blamed the trail shoes part of it, and I don't know. I went out, I mean, if y'all want to see my splits, we will look up my splits real quick. Go and get technical. I did record this. I wore I wore my watch in the middle of the race, so we have 
some team to base off of. The final time of 27 minutes and 41 seconds, average pace of 5 minutes and 36 seconds per mile. You might think, well, that's not bad if you're an unattached athlete, but on the road, I ran a 26.17. I have a video from this past winter, I think, or early spring, I don't know. I ran like a 26 something on the road. 8K PR, and it's a progressive run. How about that? So I knew I was in shape, so I know I can go a lot faster. Some would say it's the course. I'm not going to use that excuse because there are so many people who ran a lot faster on that course. So first mile, 502. Five minutes and two seconds. Felt amazing. And then 523. I didn't know the other time, but I was really positive splitting, and you do not want to do that in a race. So 502, 523, third mile, 533, and fourth mile, six flat. I can run 10 miles at six flat. And then the fifth mile, or the .97 or whatever, 540. So I had a little bit of a kick at the end, but not enough to catch the guy in front of me. Yeah, I finished the race, so that's how my second cross-country race went. Uh, the first one where I actually finished, and I placed top 15 out of D2 schools, so that's not saying much. So... As far as running for a D1 school out of state that currently has no open rosters right now, um, my chances of making that once they do open up are pretty slim as of right now. But considering this is my first race on the grass, and I have nothing but I have a road race coming up this week. Yeah, in a couple of days actually. I completely forgot about that. But I have a road race coming up, and then after that, it, we're we're doing a track block. So. I'm hoping to at least go in and look for a roster on Wyoming's track team. If it opens up on cross country, that'd be awesome too. It's just, so I, they're, they're quick this year and you know, I would not make that squad as of right now. Anyway, this winter and this spring when I transfer, I'm gonna, you know, really go hard on training. We'll be at altitude, so fitness is gonna be up there and hopefully I convert some really fast times on the track I'm going to get some unattached races on the track under my belt at, while I'm at Wyoming and put a few glaringly awesome times up there. Times up there. I cannot speak. I'm, this is a sign that I've talked too much. So one last thing before I sign off. I have two other cart fishing videos. I posted one just now. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And then I have two more coming up. Y'all want to see that? I mean, one of them's like fishing with a pole about this big and then uh, fishing in a rainstorm. If y'all wanna see that, please do comment below because I wanna figure out if I should work on them or not. Because other than that, I wanna like switch it up, have something different, like fishing for this species one day or running another video. So I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna keep a good variety going. So three, I don't know, I don't know if y'all want two more carp videos after y'all just seen one. Uh, let me know, please. And if y'all wanna see more running stuff, please do leave that comment below to comment 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 that's all i gotta say thank y'all for caring about how i did in the race and thank y'all for wasting y'all's time and watching this video um if you want to waste more time with me you can always subscribe down below still got to get to 300 i've said that for the past few videos and we're still stuck at 290 something so please please subscribe because you know the end goal is always a thousand or more so we got, we got to make some positive sp steps. And I need y'all's feedback because I need to know what to put out there and stuff. So thank y'all so much for watching. Appreciate the view. And we'll see you next time.